it just had to take two interviews only two interviews Mamelodi Sundowns Pitside podcast with Tegum Dise and Shopo Kekan and another one with Robert Marawa on 94.7 with my Ngoba Mngiti. Those two interviews, I can tell you for free that it has inspired a lot of confidence into the Mamelodi Sundowns fan base. Number two, is my Ngoba Mngiti maybe the greatest gift uh, from Pito Musimane to Mamelodi Sundowns? And for sure, the interview has terminated any hope of a Widad Casablanca fan branch in South Africa. <laughs> I do go by the name of Wisconsin football, where it discusses anything to do with soccer from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. Well, on this episode, I am just diving through on my Melody Sundance approach into that quarterfinals um, match against Polokwane City, MTN 8 in Lucas. Moripe Stadium, where we'll be looking at the possible starting 11. And I can tell you for free that I've changed my starting 11 a lot of times. After those two interviews, I mean, Mangoba Muti has given so much detail into the overall squad that uh, he'll be leading this um, this coming season. And it is exciting times for Poma Melody Sundowns fans. I mean, uh, he he's a breath of, of fresh air. Uh, it, it was such a, a refreshing interview. The first one was 30 minutes, uh, but the one with Marawa is approximately like 45 minutes, considering the ads and uh, listening to the WhatsApp um, voice notes because it's a public radio station. But you know what? And uh, I'm open for, for correction. Uh, I need you to also... Give you all your starting 11s. And um, after hearing the coach with some of the roles that might be changed this coming season, um, it's going to be interesting who will be starting in that first 11 on Sunday. And I I, I, I think I am, um, it's also safe to say that there are big name players that might not even make it in that, uh, in that starting, starting, starting 11. It's also humbling to hear Mangoba Mngiti, you know, recognizing and acknowledging the the tireless work that Rulani Mukwena put into this Mamelo de Sundowns uh, team. I mean, he, he acknowledged him in the first interview. He also recognized and acknowledged Rulani with, uh, when he was at uh, with Marawa. So that also shows an element of humility in, in the new head coach. He doesn't like positions, but it is clear that he is the, the head coach of Mamelodi Sundowns this upcoming season. Well, he has outlined a whole lot of things. He has detailed a whole lot of things. If you want to watch those two um, interviews, you can just search them on YouTube. And uh, while you're on that, if you're seeing this space and this content for the very first time, really, really appreciate if you contribute to this channel by liking the episode sharing the episode on twitter on whatsapp groups on facebook on all the other socials and uh, really really would love to hear your opinion on on the starting 11 what you think about the new coach of my melody sundowns also help me to reach 10,000 subscribers by december 2024 i would really 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 be excited so those are some of the contributions you can help me with uh, by liking, by sharing, by commenting, by by um, uh, subscribing to the channel, and uh, even more if you you donate to to the channel. But let's get back to my Ngiti and my Melody Sundance. I'm not gonna dwell much on Pulugani City because I haven't really seen a lot of their uh, their matches in preseason. Uh, but obviously, because I support my melody sometimes, I've seen a whole lot of, of, of their matches and uh, what I can expect uh, going going forward. Now, how my melody sometimes will play this season, Mangoba has unpacked that a uh, whole lot of times. He speaks of um, them playing a 4 4 2 last season. To many people, it appeared like it was almost like a box, uh, you know, a 2 2. 3-3 three, three or a 2-2-2-4 two, 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 uh, with a lot of inventing inventing from uh, from fullbacks 
but he says it's a four four two. He was coaching with with uh, with the Rolani. Um, he's changing all that and saying that uh, they will approach this season more with them. Um, with the with the four four three, with emphasis on on one v ones, emphasis on box entries, emphasis on on wing play, using weight, uh, a lot of a lot of dribbling. He wants more goals. Uh, he wants more goals. He is clearly not happy with the the box box entries they had last season. The um, the goal, the number of goals they had last season. He gives credit to Rulano Mukwena <coughs> that the team didn't concede a lot of goals. But had they given themselves a lot of chances uh, going closer to the box or into the box, they might have actually scored a lot of goals. He's very honest, very honest in his approach of uh, how they should approach uh, Betway Premiership, you know, PSL, game, I mean, PSL games, cup games, uh, domestic cup games, as opposed to uh, playing AFL and CAF, CAF Champions Leagues. Those are two different animals and they should be treated differently. And he's clear uh, on how, if you want to win CAF Champions League, we cannot treat that animal like we are treating uh, Betway a Premiership. Uh, we should learn a lot from Real Madrid and Alali, which are the two teams he has mentioned a, la a number a number of times. It is definitely exciting times for Mourinho de Sundowns management, and um, he's also unpacked the rules and uh, the qualities of uh, of his technical team. He mentioned Steve Gompella, which we all know that's his f his first assistant. The second assistant clear role is Romain Foss, who is not sitting next to him by any mistake. He is there. He deserves to be there. And uh, he qualifies to be there. I mean, the boy was recommended by Arsene Wenger to go and do some training at FIFA. So Foss, Fosloza, Romain is there. And they have had a couple of meetings. And he is always... Uh, placed uh, Romain Falls um, contacts closer to him because he's always said, I really want to work with this boy in the future. And now it has happened at Edmond Melody Sundowns. Wendell Robertson, the goalkeeper coach with his assistant Kennedy, um, they are all all humble. They, they uh, It's clear that uh, these are the type of individuals that uh, or characters that the Mangoba team really, really, really loves working with it's actually uh, exciting how he also speaks of 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 young of young players uh, i'll mention four malibonga koza the center back he clearly he's spoken very highly of this young man born in in mamelodi and uh, he has made it very clear that uh, the boy might even start uh, a bigger a bigger game and uh, He's there to challenge for a spot. One wonders if uh, this is a season where we will probably see a Mutobin Vala maybe starting on the bench. Uh, but that centre-back position, I think we've got uh, uh, sufficient cover to, to actually uh, cover us for a whole lot of these uh, these games and competitions we'll be playing. There's MTN8, there's Black Label Culling uh, Knockout, there's Netbank Cup, there's Betway Premiership, there's AFL, there's CAF Champions League, and there's a big one. We are going to Club World Cup in USA next June, July. So, Ma and Malibongwe, he's going to be playing with some experienced seasoned campaigners. But as Mangoba has said, that the boy is there to compete and he is there to even eat someone's lunch. And then you go to Mabena, who's had a sterling, sterling season. I like what uh, Mangoba said when he was speaking about the, these young players. He said, it's not a joke. These boys will play. It's not a joke. So he he has emphasized this, that uh, everyone at Mamelodi Sundowns, if you work and uh, you compete and you bring that energy, I mean, it's clear that he wants a fast, quick uh, attacking football uh, so that's what we are all expecting according to all these speeches we have heard that's what we're expecting and uh, the young players they they will contribute highly 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 on that you've got a good one who's also a dribbler you've got a course who plays in the middle so it's it's really really um a, 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 a exciting times for 
for the followers of um, of Mamelodi Sundance. Gone are the days of uh, 1,000 touches in 90 minutes. Uh, he, he acknowledges that there's a good about playing uh, position football, but position football without any shots at goal or box entries for him is kind of like, you know, at, uh, toothless or, or useless. So he wants a lot of uh, a position with, the, with threat, uh, attacking the, 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 you know, attacking the, the wider channels, attacking the box. Uh, so I, I, he's, he's left me and a lot of my bloody sundance excited and, um, and uh, it, it, it will be interesting what I will see from the comments as to what you guys actually think about the interviews you listen. Now, I'm going to go to my, my starting 11. But before I even go to the starting 11, I doubt that uh, post -me as much as in my starting 11, I've got Mudiba as a starter. But I doubt that Mudiba this season will play as a left back. I think he will have an advanced number eight or number ten position. Even in, in the preseason games, that's where we saw a lot of Mudiba in that number ten and that number eight, that number eight role. And then you have uh, a Maseko, which you are were excited about in the, some of the things he has clarified that he, he doesn't see him really as a as a as a winger but he sees him more as a as a number nine whether a force nine or a number nine because he's got speed so he can play behind defenders and uh, chasing that ball and apparently he's a good finisher he's got some goals in the recent friendlies they they have played the ones behind closed doors and the ones we saw in uh, in uh, in Aust Austria um and then look at the left backs we we have uh currently we have a Terence Mashiro we have a Tiwana we have a, a Divine Lunga and we have um a, a Mudiba which I believe might not actually play left back anymore but if you look at Tiwana he's coming he's coming from Skukune he's a 21 22 year old you have a divine Lunga experienced campaigner who can also play as a left center back. And then you have uh, a Mashiro. Mashiro should be careful. He might, uh, he might lose, um, he might lose this. And uh, I don't see him as a, as, as a starter. And it doesn't look like he's, uh, he's improving as much in that left back position. But maybe because the system now will suit him more as a pure, pure left back that Mangoba wants to see uh, more uh, going forward. Maybe this system might actually suit Mashiko more than uh, than the system that was, uh, that was played by um, by Rulani. Because with Rulani's system, he wanted a left back that was inverting because your AB uh, Botuel was inverting, Mudiba was inverting. Uh, the only flank or full back that was not doing a lot of inverting um was your was your mudao but uh overall so maybe this might be the season where mashiko will prove a lot of us wrong but there's sufficient cover there if we've got a tiwana if we've got a mashiko we've got a lunga and um and a mudiba possibly that might not even play there uh, anymore and uh i mean mangoba is uh he's got he's confident that mamelodi sundown is gonna go all the way and win Champions League. That's what you want to hear from a coach. Uh, inspiring confidence. Uh, he's he's an assured man. You know, uh, he's got a well of knowledge of this football club, of CAF Confederate, CAF Champions League, um, the different types of of players. Um, I must actually may make this clear as well that Salas, his paper, uh, are not are not ready yet. So he won't be. Won't be in the in the in the match day squad. I don't even think he's in South Africa for that matter. Um, and uh, Erwin Saavedra, it, it's becoming clearer and clearer. And uh, Nasir, it's becoming clearer and clearer that there are other means of actually registering these soccer players as as locals. And uh, that's what he mentioned to to uh, Robert Marawa that uh, if we've got uh, assets. Uh, worth six million rands or over seven million rands, you can actually be registered as a as a local. So 
Mangoba wants them all. He wants Avedra. He wants Nasir. So we'll have to wait and see. Unless he will be selling or shipping out uh, Abdel uh, Botwell. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but this far, it looks like everything in his disposal, he wants all those players to be registered. It's a big, 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 uh, big season for Melody Sundance. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a testing one. A lot of competitions, lot, lot of games and a lot, lot of travel. And uh, yeah, let me go to my my 11 i think uh the two players that are out for this weekend it is sipumbule and um evergreen uh, goalkeeper ronza ronza williams those two i think are out for for the weekend therefore i think uh, mangoba if i heard correctly yesterday it looks like dennis onyango is number one uh, I think it's Dennis Onyango or Jody February, but on this lineup, I will put uh, Dennis Onyango as uh, as number one. The back four, the central pairing at the back is going to be the defender of the season, Grant Kekana, right center back, left center back, Libusa, and then we are going to have um, Mudiba, a left a left a left back, which I won't be shocked if he's. Uh, he plays in a more advanced position and someone else is placed in that left back because Lisibonku also played in the left back position. But in this lineup that I'm giving for today, it's a Modiba, Lis uh, Libusa, Gran Kekana, and Evergreen uh, Kuliso Mudao at right back. That's the, the back four. And the midfield three will be a Mukwena, Alende, Mishishi, Zwane. The front three will be a Ribeiro coming from the right. And then we're going to have a Mabena coming from the left. And we're going to have a false, uh, false, um, false nine in, in Matthews. Yes, Shalulile is not in my starting 11. And I know he scored in the five win against the Angolan team friendly. Um, but um, as I said, this is my 11. So the front three is Mabena. Uh, Matthews and Ribeiro. Behind them, it will be Mshishi, Alende, and Mukwena. Back four, Mudiba, Libusa, Gran Kekana, and Kulisamu Dao. Number one might be Dennis Onyango. It might be Jody February, but that is my starting 11. I'm excited, and I don't know what you think about my 11. Do comment in the comment section below. As to your predictions of the, the I think we're going to win this game. Uh, I, th I'm, I'm just expecting Mamelodi Sundowns to score over 2.5 in every game this season. Over 2.5. So let's go with um, with a 4 nil win. 4 nil win against Pulukwane City. Not really, no high profile signing from Pulukwane City. They still have their police. I don't know why they are hanging on to him because they need all the millions. They should just rather sell the boy and uh, with the money uh, reinvest in the team in uh, in other players uh so i don't know why they're keeping the boy the boy will get injured and then uh, it will prevent them from selling also in apolis so so yeah i don't see a threat and it is not even a disrespect to Pulugwane city uh i don't see them challenging mamelody sundowns uh there's a lot that uh, mamelody sundowns are playing for this season and it starts on sunday do comment, do subscribe, and do follow even on my TikTok channel. And may my God bless you all.